Alrighty guys, in this segment I'm going to go over updating the uh, firmware for the remote control. And in this case I have it powered on and it's plugged into the laptop so that it can charge. And over here I have, I'll need to take off exposure lock. There you go. So we're going to use the DJI GO 4 app. So first what we need to do is we're going to connect the controller to the phone through Wi-Fi. So I got an update there. Let's do Wi-Fi here. Now mind you, this is on uh, Android 8.0. Um, I just had this installed. Um, I'm always up to date with the latest Android uh, system. So this is what we're going to go with. Uh, it should work just as well on Nougat as well. <laughs> yes, that is my home uh, Wi-Fi SSID. <laughs> anyway, so here we're going to get Spark RC remote control. So I'll ask you for a password. In case you're wondering, the password is right here on this sticker. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but it says one two three four one two three four and the SSID is right above it, in case you need to know uh, which one is yours. So here, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Connect. Okay. Now, let's go to the DJI app. Yes, we're gonna stay connected. And up the top, version check. New controller firmware found. So this is version 400 for the remote. Update log, you are in compatibility update or lacking update log, blah, 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 don't care. Requires approximately 10 minutes. So now we're gonna go download now. Connect to a network first, okay. Remember, I'm connected to Wi-Fi and the remote. So first, go back in here and go back to, come on. Well, I don't need to forget that, but I need to get out of that. That's all right. We'll forget it for now, no big deal. Okay, so now we're connected back to home internet. We're gonna go back here. Download now. Okay, yeah, you see that was super fast. All right, so start update. Well, obviously we can't update it unless we're connected to it. So, I'll show you what happens. If we hit start update, Connect the remote controller and confirm the battery level is over 30%. Well, I've got three out of four lights, so I'm well over 50%. I'm not sure if that means it's below 75, but we're gonna say it's perfectly good. Okay. If I say next, it wants to do it. So we're gonna go back. I know it's a roundabout way of doing this, but it is what it is. Whoops. Back to Spark RC, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, connect. All right, we are connected. It's gonna ask me at the top again, do you wanna stay connected? Yes, I would like to stay. For some reason you have to accept that or it doesn't actually keep the connection, at least on Android 8. So back into DJI 4. And now, I hit start update, take off exposure lock, let's watch what happens to the controller. I'm not going to sit here and make you watch all 15, well, 10, 15 minutes, whatever, but let's see what happens. All right, progress is already 5%. Okay, it'll beep. You now have a green light.
It's actually updating pretty quick. Maybe you will get to see the entire thing. Put the controller down for a second. I'll make this easier for you to see. You can see the controller there in the background. Okay. So, update complete. Please manually restart your remote controller. Okay. So, you want to power off, then power back on. So essentially, you want to press, release, press and hold. And you'll see, watch with lights too. Okay, that's off. Notice our power light's off. Do it again to bring it back on. Okay. Now let's see if this thing wants us to do anything else says complete. Out of curiosity, let's check to see... Nope, we're still connected to home internet. So let's see if... Yep, Spark. Obtaining IP. And come back to DJI 4. See if it tries to look. Yes, stay connected. Version check. Da -da -da. Latest version. All right. So that completely updates the firmware for the remote control.